Sometimes you reach back for a gem. Even if a sneaker similar is coming out as a new release, it just doesn't quite match up to the one you really want. A pair finally crossed off the wish list, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High, OG, and Black, Royal, and White, better known as the Air Jordan 1 High Royal. As you can see, based on the tag, I purchased this pair off eBay and it went through their eBay authentication guarantee process. The Air Jordan 1 High Royal released four times since its original release in 1985. And remember, this sneaker is special because it's one of the top pairs selected to be featured in the top three Jordan 1. However, he never wore this on court. You have a classic and basic Air Jordan 1 High. You have the outsole being royal blue. That matches the royal blue present on the panels, the back heel, the swoosh itself, with black paneling everywhere else, all in leather for the upper. The classic Air Jordan 1 High nylon tongue, and then also the traditional tag that features Nike Air. The white insoles of the sneaker perfectly intact in white with the Nike Air in royal blue stamped on top. Rumor has it this was the very first Air Jordan sneaker made available to the public to purchase that Jordan ever wore. And I'll say they came out the gate swinging with the Air Jordan 1 High Royal. Perfectly matched and coordinated for the on foot portion of the video today. Here we have a pair of Nike Royal socks. You can find an older video that showcases this pickup from finish line and a pair of black minimal everyday nylon pants. As usual, I picked this up in a size six and a half. I tend to go up a half size in all Jordan ones and in Nike Dunk simply because the wider part of my forefoot doesn't care for the true to size fit if I were to go with the size six. For comfort, the Air Jordan 1 is a sneaker I can wear all day with zero problems and I fully intend to make this one of my daily beater pairs to keep in rotation year round. There's absolutely nothing like acquiring one of the top rated Air Jordan 1 pairs of all time. That's right, the Air Jordan 1 High Royal that released in 2017 for this specific retro. However, we know it dates back to 1985 and back in 2020 when I picked up the Royal Toe, it, it was a great, I guess, filler. But there's nothing like having the true pair that you want on your wish list, and now I have that. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young Welcome everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video and I thank you so much for tuning in to the very first unboxing of 2022, at least for myself, but it's not a sneaker that released this year in 2022. No, 2017 Air Jordan 1 High Royal and shout out to eBay because eBay is bae and yes, I went through the process, super easy, great experience again uh, using the eBay authentication process, not sponsored, just I had a great experience with it and I'm so happy to have this in the collection now if you guys caught my plans for 2022 video um last week or actually this week i have the intention to reach back a lot it's not that i'm not wowed by some pairs in 2022 but who could pass up this for the price i found it at Okay, so let's go ahead and talk the process for the eBay authentication because yes, uh, that's what this went through. So browsing on eBay like I'm always doing. And you know what? Again, if you find an amazing sneaker at a really great price, it's something you've wanted for so long, the condition is great, and you have the means to go ahead and make the purchase, I would regret it, like greatly regret it if I didn't make this purchase. So browsing, I actually saw the sneaker listed for $220. Now it's actually not uh, advertised as dead stock. It was like very near dead stock, but the pictures looked great just as you guys are able to see in the unboxing for the shoe itself. I best offered 200. It was listed at 220. They said we can meet in the middle at 210. I said done, finished. The next day, they immediately shipped it off to eBay to be authenticated. eBay shipped it to me, and here we are unboxing this brand new pair. Um, now with the just the colorway, the blocking. It's really the color blocking that gets me. Uh, I just. 
I love it, and you guys know I was fortunate enough, thank you at most, to secure the Air Jordan 1 High patent bread. So I feel as if I'm inching a little bit closer to having at least the top three colorways for the Air Jordan 1. Now, I still don't have the Chicago, but I have the Trophy Room 1, so that will kind of have to do for right now, I guess, until I pick up the official Chicago 1 in my size. But now having the Royal, it almost feels complete. Believe it or not, Kanye West inspired one of the looks that you guys will see here as well. Remember, he went through a heavy retro period and it was truly my favorite time of styling for him. Um, now, the look you guys will see, it's easy for you to put together uh, just from H&M or Zara. And I think that's what's awesome. Again, find staples within your closet that work for you. These simply work for me. So here's how I will choose to style the Air Jordan 1 High Royal on a consistent basis. If you recall, I did a look inspired by Kanye West for the Air Jordan 1 High Patent Bread. And again, you see a look inspired here instead for the Air Jordan 1 High Royal. For Kanye's fit, he went with a black full zip hoodie, gray t-shirt, leather pants, and the Air Jordan 1 High Royal with a red cap. I did something very similar. This entire outfit is actually from H&M. The hooded black cardigan that is open, the gray tee, and then the skinny black pant, again, all from H&M. The only thing not would be the Nike socks, those are from Finish Line, and the Jordan red hat, which was picked up on eBay. A little bit more of a daily casual take. I think for mine, most of us don't wear leather pants on a consistent basis, and the open cardigan is a nice switch up from a regular full zip hoodie, at least I think so. For the second outfit on the left, simple, basic, the Slam Magazine t-shirt featuring the cover of Devin Booker, who is having an amazing season right now, and also the minimal black everyday nylon corded pants. On the right for the third outfit, sticking with the same skinnier fit pants from H&M and the same gray top, instead I swapped out the hooded black cardigan for an American Eagle chambray shirt from the men's department, a size medium, and then the slouchy beanie from Love Your Melon in the gradient gray colorway. Neither of these three looks matched exactly color for color with the Air Jordan 1 Royal, and I think that's the beauty of wearing this sneaker. You don't have to match specifically the Royal in this sneaker, and it still works for so many different options. stated i will pass on the air jordan one high dark marina blue i just don't see a need to have that i'm also a much bigger fan of the og color blocking for the royal as well as the patent bread or the regular bread or band jordan one versus the reverse now the inverse looks good if we're talking about like that shadow 2.0 the inverse looks good to me there it looks good on the dark marina blue it did not look good on the reverse bread i just couldn't get with that maybe it was just too much red for me i'm not really sure i also intend to keep this so i don't have any intention of just kicking it out of the collection right now still a really great sneaker they did an amazing job as well on the fact that this is a gs pair and the uh the quality is good we can't say that about all the pairs that they release uh but we can say it about that one and i love the quality as well that's present for the 2017 pair so that is my very first pickup added to the collection for 2022 so jordan brand nike you're kicking things off um to follow up behind them will actually be an adidas unboxing and i'm waiting for this warriors timberland boot to arrive so a lot of royal in the collection but a lot of my sports teams have royal blue within them so it's great it coordinates and i love it so please go ahead and sound off where does the air jordan one high royal rank in terms of the classic iconic og jordan one colorways is it high up there is it the grail for you i'm very excited to have it um and thank you so much again for always tuning in to any videos that you may watch uh if you're not subscribed and you like what you see feel free to hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video as always act your age not your shoe size peace